Hi, I am Arib. You are watching my YouTube channel. What is a neutral grounding resistor? In the intricate world of electrical engineering, neutral grounding resistors as a crucial component, ensuring safety and limiting damage in the event of an electrical fault. They are indispensable to the smooth operation of electrical systems, especially in power generation and distribution networks. However, their role may not be completely understood outside the circle of electrical engineers and technicians. This article aims to fill that gap, presenting an accessible, comprehensive examination of what a neutral grounding resistor is and how it works. We will delve into the theory and practice of neutral grounding resistor discussing their design, functions, and the mechanisms that make them essential components in protecting our electrical infrastructure. A neutral grounding resistor is a type of resistor that is inserted between the neutral point of a system, such as a transformer, generator, or motor, and the ground. Its primary function is to limit the current that flows in the neutral line during a ground fault condition. In the context of electrical power distribution, ground faults can occur when there's a failure in the insulation of a conductor, causing a current to flow from the system directly to the earth. This current, if not controlled, can be dangerously high, leading to equipment damage and posing a safety hazard, the NGR is designed to prevent these adverse effects by ensuring that the fault current is restricted to a safe level. It achieves this by increasing the resistance in the path to ground, hence reducing the current according to Ohm's law, current is equal to voltage resistance. It allows a manageable amount of current to flow, enough for protective relay systems to detect the fault and take appropriate action, while preventing a high, potentially damaging current. Difference between NGR and NGT The terms Neutral Grounding Resistor, NGR, and Neutral Grounding Transformer, NGT, refer to two different devices used in power systems for protection during fault conditions. Here's the primary difference between them. Neutral Grounding Resistor, NGR As explained before, an NGR is a resistor inserted between the neutral point of a system, such as a transformer or generator, and the ground. Its main function is to limit the fault current to a safe level during a ground fault. It does this by increasing the resistance in the path to ground, which, according to Ohm's law, reduces the current flow. Neutral Grounding Transformer, NGT an NGT is a specialized transformer used to provide a grounding path for a system or to alter the effective grounding nature of a system. In many power systems, especially high-voltage ones, NGT are often used in combination with NGR. The transformer is designed to present a high impedance to load flow, while the resistor controls the fault current. One common type of NGT is a zigzag transformer, which is used to create a neutral grounding point in a system that otherwise doesn't have one. The Use of Neutral Grounding Resistor Neutral grounding resistors, NGR, are widely used in various electrical systems and have a number of important applications. Let's delve into some of their key uses. Prevention of Equipment Damage a primary use of NGRs is to prevent excessive damage to electrical equipment during a ground fault. Without an NGR, the high fault current can cause serious damage to the electrical components involved in the fault. This includes damage to transformers, switch gear, cables, and generators, which can be expensive to repair or replace and may result in prolonged system downtime. Reduction of arc flash hazards. Arc flashes represent a significant safety risk in electrical systems. They occur when a large amount of electrical energy is released across an air gap, resulting in a flashover. By limiting the fault current, 
NGRs can reduce the energy available for arc flashes, thereby reducing the risk and severity of these events. Fault detection and location NGRs allow for a certain level of fault current to flow during a ground fault, which can be detected by protective relays. These relays can then initiate tripping mechanisms to isolate the faulty part of the system. In more advanced systems, the flow of fault current can also be used to identify the location of the fault. Stability of system voltages By grounding the system through an NGR, the system's neutral point is kept at a near-ground potential. This helps stabilize the phase voltages during both normal operation and unbalanced conditions, such as single line-to-ground faults. Continuity of service In some systems, particularly in industrial settings, it can be beneficial to allow the system to continue operation during a single line-to-ground fault. The NGR ensures that the fault current is limited to a safe level, allowing for temporary continued operation until the fault can be cleared. Benefits of Neutral Grounding Resistor Neutral Grounding Resistors NGR, offer essential benefits in electrical power systems. They protect equipment by limiting fault current during a ground fault, minimizing damage and reducing repair costs. NGRs enhance safety by reducing the risk of arc flash incidents and electric shock hazards. They facilitate fault detection, aiding in locating and isolating faults, thereby minimizing downtime. NGR also stabilizes phase voltages, ensuring a reliable and balanced system. Moreover, they allow for temporary continued operation during a single line to ground fault promoting uninterrupted service. Overall, NGR provide valuable protection, safety, and stability to electrical power systems, improving equipment lifespan and ensuring uninterrupted operation.